What's up, YouTube? It's been a minute, but it's a hot one out here today. So let me go get cleaned up real quick. And we'll start this video. What's up, Camaro Gang Gang Bruh? Shout out to Gainsborough Motorsports here on YouTube and G Shock Lover 14 on Instagram. He commented on my previous upload and said I should start yelling Camaro Gang Gang Bruh. So shout out to him, one of my good buds here on YouTube and Instagram. So, and in today's video, man, not everything is perfect in life. We all know that, especially times like these. Um, yeah, had some more problems with the 21 SS. So we're gonna jump straight into what those problems was. It's been a rough week, guys. And, uh, but hey, been super busy with the website. You see it popping up down below. Go check it out if you haven't already. Um, just painted up some beautiful um, AC vents and some paddle shifter extensions in wild cherry tint coat. I have sent those out to California to the customer. Those things turned out great. So if you're watching this, Hope you enjoy them. So we're gonna jump straight into what the new problems are, guys, and uh, hopefully what can be done for it. So if you've been keeping up with the channel a while back, I never got it fixed, but if you remember, I actually curb rashed these rims here in the drive-through of a bank, because you can see it's pretty bad here. I'm gonna put some Sharpie here so I can get it fixed, but I might have to end up doing something more than that pretty soon because Let's just, just do a backstory real quick. My back tire back here, last Monday, so it's been a week ago when this video uploads. Last Monday, I was driving to work and this tire right here just blew out completely. Um, there was nothing left on it. And luckily, I was right beside a dealership, so I was able to pull in there. But bad thing is, this tire is now discontinued. Um, they were able to find one and it was a county over so they had to send somebody to go get it and I spent the whole evening there I uh, actually had somebody pick me up bring me to work and I spent the whole evening there afterwards waiting on this because their tire machine broke and they had to outsource putting the rim on the new tire to another company bringing it back so um, here's here's the predicament just for this one tire it was five hundred and eighteen dollars Yes, very expensive. Um, $7.33 of that, I believe down to the penny, $7.33 of that was for labor. So the rest was the cost of the tire. That's just insane considering that I do want to upgrade all four tires, uh, probably 285s in the front and either 305s or 310s in the back. But if I do that, I will need to upgrade my rims. Um, which is difficult right now because I'm trying to save for a wedding, but it might need to be done because leading into the new problem here. Why do I want to spend another $518 when I can upgrade rims and tires for a little bit more than that, probably two grand for tires and rims. I noticed on my front tire here is it's starting to ball pretty bad. You can see See if we can see it here. Threads are starting to show here. Actual like fabric type threads. Back here. Look at there. This one's gonna get ready to blow out pretty soon. It looks like I need an alignment because it's only on this outer edge here. So yeah, so instead of hunting down another tire, spending you know, close to that that type of money again. I'm thinking I just I should just go ahead and bite the bullet and um, whatever you like to say, pull the trigger and just upgrade all my my tires and rims. Um, sucks because you know I got other things money can go towards, but I don't want to have another blowout and then spend money if I'm going to spend money again to upgrade these one day. So. Yeah, that's one problem that I just noticed the uh, the tire thing today. So I was actually pulling up from dropping my fiance off at work and in her car, cause she likes me to drive her to work when I'm off. And I come walking up in the garage and I seen the thread sticking. I was like, oh Jesus. So gotta get those changed out. And 
another big problem, jumping straight into it. Um, we're actually going to jump into the car real quick. All right. So we're going to just hit this real quick. Oh, we don't want that to go off the whole time. All right. So on our digital display here, on our cluster, you got the uh, RPMs on this side and the speed up here. So my flash has died on my camera but um so about four days ago i noticed that the whole cluster was going out about every i timed it about every minute five seconds to a minute and ten seconds it would just go off it freeze first go off come back on and when it come back on it would flash all the um like your Stabila track uh, traction check engine light things like that and they would go off after a few seconds and it would do that you know it'd stay on for another minute five minute ten seconds and it'd do it again um so when i'm driving when i'm driving and it does that this temperature will actually flash and go off this as well and it'd come back on when this comes back on but if i'm sitting still and it does it this temperature jumps by like 20 degrees every time it does it. So um, I tested it out the other, the other night. I didn't get a video of it, unfortunately. Tested it out the other night and sitting in spot, it went off a few times and this temperature actually went up to 160. So there is some kind of issue between this and this here is linked to this as well, I think. So um, I was trying to look some things up and I'm thinking it's either... A loose wiring harness or like some kind of a, what people call like a cold solder on the actual board um, somebody said theirs was doing this and they had to get a whole HMI unit um, had to get the whole thing replaced so I actually have an appointment for my service and auto butler on Wednesday which is my birthday so I'm probably gonna spend the whole day there and I told them to go ahead and check this out but what's crazy is this issue did it for four days, and literally this morning, I was driving the car a little bit. Yeah, you gotta love camera overheated problems. Um, so that's what happened. But anyways, this morning I was driving the car, and it stopped completely. <clears throat> Hasn't done it since this morning. So, um, like I mentioned earlier, I have a appointment this Wednesday, and that will be looked at as well. And hopefully something could be done, or, you know, um, they can see something code wise, even though it's not pulling a check engine light or anything like that. Um, a few people said that even though it's not showing anything, it's still showing a code when it's red. So hopefully we can see what's going on there. And it's not the actual car shutting off. It's just the display here. So yeah, it's just something else to worry about, but let's see here. See if it'll show me my, uh, let me show y'all something. See that? This is going back to the first problem. 30,683 miles. 30,683 miles on stock Goodyear tires. Some of y'all out there will comment below and say that is insane because a lot of people don't make it past 15,000 miles on this car, um, on those tires. And... I've seen a few, I've seen a lot of people say they don't get past 5,000. So I really, really, I do stomp it at times. But I really, really baby the tires on this car just because they're so freaking expensive and I don't want to wear them out until I can, you know, afford to upgrade tires and rims as one. So now it looks like I have to guys. So let's go ahead and get out. So yeah, guys, that is my new issues for my 2021 Camaro SS. Comment below if you've had, um, mainly the, the instrument cluster there, if you've had that issue before or currently had that issue, uh, let me know maybe what they did for you or what your thoughts are on that. So yeah, guys, feel free to comment down below anything else that you wanna comment about this video or anything else. I will gladly try to answer every comment. 
Um, so yeah, this Wednesday I have another Auto Butler appointment, which it gets done every uh, six out six out every six months. Um, I think I'm going to do a video on whether the Auto Butler is worth it or not. So yeah, be look be looking forward for that video to come out, and uh, we'll get that up on the channel because I've had people ask me whether it was worth it because I've touched on the Auto Butler before in my one year review of trading in the uh, RS Camaro for this one. So yeah, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. Like always, I'm sorry I don't make as many videos. I stay super busy between a full-time engineering job, um, fulfilling orders, and some other things, just living daily life. So I try to put out at least two videos a month now, and it's going to ramp back up once the wedding's over. So I appreciate y'all watching. If you haven't already, go down below and absolutely smash that like and subscribe button. And check out the website popping up below. Like I mentioned before, just painted up some beautiful wild cherry tint coat, AC vents, and paddle shifter extensions. So, yeah. Until next time, guys. Peace.